Man, it's so quiet out. In Astoria, Oregon, near where the mighty Columbia River meets the Pacific Ocean. Look at this. There's not a soul. There's not a car to be seen. The place Lewis and Clark once explored. Nobody walking. More than 200 years later, during the height of a historic pandemic. Yeah, yeah. It's devastated the local economy here. Another well-known local figure. It's really devastating. It, it, it's, it's, it's literally killing people. Explores the streets of Astoria alone. This is the unlikely story of a man known as... They call me Helmet John Albert Weddle. A colorful character. <laughs> Helmet John for the red motorcycle helmet he sometimes wears for protection. It's real life. And how he's helping his town during the age of social distancing rediscover what home is. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. For a man without a house, Helmet John is home. I'm outdoors in the winter too, you know. Oh, it's rain, snow, sleet, or hail. Here he is. <laughs> As rough as John's is life tough. is, that laugh <laughs> punctuates it. nearly everything That's he it. says. It's a life the 73-year-old chooses to live. My territory ranges from 2nd to 22nd to 24th, I guess it is. Yeah. But there's a lot more to John Albert Waddell. I have a master's in physics at Berkeley, I have a master's in, in business at New York University Business School, so I have enough theoretical background to analyze what's going on here. And Helmut John's story got the attention of another of Astoria's colorful citizens. Jeff Daly, known for restoring parts of a town's history, including the Joy Train. The Joy Train, our tool that we get around in a former American Legion parade float. I've known John for about five years. Being a cameraman, photographer, how could you not be attracted to him? Daly also happens to be a filmmaker. Let's don't forget this whole group of people that live on our streets, live on our communities. So that idea inspired Jeff to spend weeks chronicling Helmut John's wanderings during a pandemic. Here's a man that already has social distancing because most people are afraid of him. Creating a 30-minute documentary. What's up, John? How Waddell transformed from a person who was born into the American dream to Astoria's most recognizable homeless figure, the locals call Helmut John, is both a heartbreak and a mystery, the kind of mystery that creates urban legends. <clears throat> Welcome to the movies. And that legend- Have you seen the film yet? Is oh, hitting you know, the big John. screen. It's nice, it's good they did something like that for him. We uh, put a projector back here. Or at least the makeshift yeah, one on the on. side of the American uh, Legion building. It's perfect. Ready. Uh, we project the Helmet John movie onto this wall. In the old it's Safeway perfect. parking lot. Yeah, Astoria, yeah, Astoria thing. It's a place other people without home Astoria. sometimes gather, and of course, they know John. He's a good person. <laughs> There's the ex-mayor. All you gotta say is Helmet John a movie and people show up. See you at the movies. Checking it out to see where their spot's gonna be. Good evening, everybody, and thank you for attending tonight's film, Helmet John. When the sun goes down. Oh, this is a good place to be, you bet. No better spot in the world, right here. A pop-up yeah. drive-in movie. Yep, yep. I wanted to show the film essentially in John's living room. It's gonna start in the next 15, 20 minutes. Uh-huh. What movie is it? It's about John up there. <laughs> it's a 30-minute movie about John. Yeah. <laughs> ready. Can I take an M&M's, please? John's living room. Thank you, guys. Transformed into a theater. All the virtual hugs. Uh-huh. And 97.3 is your station. Super. Thank you very much. And audio broadcast on a low-wattage FM transmitter. Yeah, we're going to try, try and tune up the radio and get connected here. People can listen to on their car radio. But it's smarter than... <laughs> Wait, wait, it's 90.7, yeah? No, 97. All safely, physically oh, distanced oh, apart. I'm supposed to know that. Oh, no. What's the number? <laughs> oh, okay, I think we got it. 97. The perfect escape. Oh, 
<laughs> for people who have been isolated at home. <laughs> We're pretty bored. It just gives us a chance, you know, you know, from the stay-at-home order to come out and learn, you know, a little bit of his background. It was fascinating. I think that we can come here and see Helmet John and watch the movie and all about him. I think he is one of the main staples for Astoria, for sure. And I think it's about time the community is actually showing that he is that important. Definitely. First of all, uh, to get out of the house, that's <laughs> number one. And number two is to... Uh, Learn about uh, John Waddell. We love him. He's a great guy. <laughs> After the previews, other short films daily directed. Save <laughs> Helmet John is ready for the main event. Ready, John? Ready. And his silver screen debut. It may not be a Hollywood blockbuster. There are portions of his history that Waddell selectively tells people about himself. Oh, well, no, something like that. Almost but like on it. this night, <laughs> Helmet John is a box office draw. He's laughing at himself. It's the cutest thing in the world. Oh, what a great insight into the guy. Yeah. Astoria is the town that affectionately gave Waddell his moniker, Helmet John. You're sitting in his house right now. This is it. But overall, he's happy and content. I think the best part is listening to his own commentary as he's watching it. Waddell is a charismatic person who is easy to like. It's his choice to live as he lives. A story is John's home, and a home is where you're loved. He just is robust about life. He's the one with the secret sauce. Be yourself. Keep laughing. <laughs> and as the credits roll... <laughs> The audience responds <laughs> in appreciation <laughs> for Helmet John. His awareness of the world from a different perspective, you just, you have to acknowledge it. As he gathers his belongings. There, John. Take care of yourself, man. And quietly slips away to find a place to lay his head for the night. I think after the people see this movie, he can stay pretty much anywhere he wants tonight. This former physicist knows, even during a pandemic, the most important laws in nature aren't the forces that pull us apart, Much love. but the gravitational pull Thanks for coming. that brings us together. So good. It's our, all of our houses. This is our place right here. In the place we call home. Night, John. Night, <laughs> John. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir.